Rob himself suggested that I react to this video. I was like um, the wizard in the Tom and Jerry one, if they're old ones. Um, yeah, and I love that name, just the duck goes smooth. That's pretty funny. <laughs> Generic control the duck goes smooth here, back with another nostalgic creative video. Today, I'm reacting to Tom and Jerry and the Wizard of Oz. I know a couple, probably months ago now, I reacted to... Uh, Tom and Jerry and Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, I believe, or Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory or something like that. I don't really know what it is called, but that was an absolute, just really weird video that they was just kind of mixing together. For some reason, Tom and Jerry just kind of like exists in other universes, which is really, really weird. Last week, I did Alvin and the Chipmunks. I'll leave that video right there. Also, link down in the description. Also, play this on my channel with all of my other nostalgic group videos. Now, the reason why I'm doing this one, and it's probably going to be in the title or whatever, is one of my viewers, the honest reviewer, is his uh, name. He's in the comment section. I read every single comment, by the way. And the, uh, apparently, Channel Awesome or Nostalgia Creator, Kim and his brother, did a live stream. And the honest reviewer gave a bit donation and they read it out loud and actually mentioned me. Doug was like, the duck is who I love that name. And uh, Rob told me, suggested that I should react to Tom and Jerry and the Wizard of Oz. So if either of you are watching this, Thank you so much. That absolutely made my week. Thank you, Honest Reviewer, for doing that. That was absolutely awesome. Just to hear Doug say the duck goes moo, it just it made me smile. Thank you so much for that, Honest Reviewer, Doug, Channel Awesome, everybody. Everybody that's watching these videos, we hit 50,000 subscribers. Thank you so much after having to rebuild the channel. Shout out to the patrons. Thank you if it is there early. Live inside the paywall channel. I'm here to make you smile, not make you pay. Let's go ahead and jump on into this one. So... The reason why I'm doing this one, if you skip the intro, which it's okay if you did, but uh, Rob Walker, Doug's brother, Doug's the nostalgic critic, I'm sure you know that, but Rob himself suggested that I react to this video, that I, the Duck Goes Moo, react to this video. Thank you to the Honest Reviewer for being in our live stream where they said that Doug said my name and was like, I love that name, just the Duck Goes Moo, because it's just funny and goofy and memorable. So, it is absolutely awesome. Like, that that happened. Like, bruh. Hello, I'm a nostalgia critic. I'll probably put a clip it, in so there. You don't have to. We mention Tom and Jerry a lot on this show. It's one of the yeah. funniest cartoons ever made. They have brilliant comedic timing. And they've been ravaged more times than a dog owner's leg. Sherlock Holmes, Willy Wonka. the Wizard of Oz a lot. It's one of the great movies, and for a I, film that's over I think I have years seen old, still being referenced and enjoyed it's by It's how regions, old? It's truly the definition of the term timeless. I also love Chippendale and Jurassic Park, but just because two things are popular doesn't mean they both. I thought together. Chippendale was like okay, naked that one guys, does, but this one doesn't. Yeah, I remember when the Chippendale guys really stole my friends in Vegas. Quest. All right, Quest, I'm not joking; they did. <laughs> Tom and Jerry had one of the most popular crossovers with The Wizard of Oz. So much so popular? that it even spawned a sequel, which I'm sorry to say has no Back to us. Movie. Tom and what? Jerry! Tom and Jerry! <laughs> These totally unnecessary spin-offs have gotten so much attention that people started making their own random crossovers. They're almost taking the on the shining? Of their own. But this one was arguably the most popular. Showing there is, for whatever reason, Why? an audience for this. So I guess it only makes sense to take a look and see if the attention was warranted at all. And is by I've seen The Wizard of Oz, I'm pretty this? sure we played it, it the in worst like high school. Adaptation since 90% of the other ones. Well, let's see the crossover oh, that launched a, a million crossovers. This is Tom <laughs> and Jerry and The Wizard of Oz. Once again, they do the classic More crossovers and intro Damian mixed Lord. with the intro of whatever movie they're doing a crossover with. Yeah. Because they always go so well together. Yeah, Disney tried that too, and it worked Slap great. Slapstick and... Uh... <laughs> I've never seen The Godfather. People know these three were really good friends, as much as Matt Stone, Trey Parker, and Leo Tolstoy. He really liked Mr. Who? Hanky. It looks like a good voiceover cast, but the credits quickly slip okay. into the madness we're that. about to experience through most of I, this. That For slant years, is story just, has no. given faithful service to cat, mice, go home movie, you're drunk. Yeah. We then see the opening animation of our main lead. Dorothy? <laughs> go home, Dorothy, you're drunk. It is Dorothy. At first it seems to run the same course as the original Wizard of Oz, except everybody looks like it Looks like the grandpa from Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer. Tom, Jerry, thanks ever so much. 
Something oh, they actually acknowledge them. The animation, while it looks expensive, also looks rushed. Everyone kind of moves like they're on fast forward. Though there's clearly a lot of technique in the color and line work, they still never quite move right. It's, oh, how does one say? How shall one say, director? Too many frames, your majesty? Exactly. Very Too well many point. frames. I know that sounds silly, as Disney uses a lot of frames and in-between animators, but they also know how to keep them mostly still. So while they're not moving much, they still seem alive. Here, That's the hunchback of Notre Dame, isn't it? Like they want to look natural it, and flowing, but don't know how to do it on such a time crunch. But that surprised you. You always get yourself into a fret over nothing. Now you just help us out today and find yourself a place where you won't get into any trouble. You know, most people don't move like this all the time, always with some sort of hand movement or moving the head this way and talking over and over and over, because if you do, you look like you're modeling a new car. A new car! New car? Is that a Ford Pinto? Incubator's gone bad and we're likely to lose a lot of our chicks. Well, no wonder the farm's in trouble. They have a mouse for an accountant. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Thanks, Jeff. These answers to everything what? is always government cheese. The answer is not always government cheese. The government cheese, you say. <laughs> oh, not the chicks. Oh, for <laughs> egg. Where'd the egg come from? Sure, are flexible with killing their unhatched ones. Will you promise me something? Promise well, me we'll we'll friends lost. and work together to keep an eye on Dorothy. Uh, ex Navy, heading along, gay. Age mate, old ship bay. I'm the sure what? this song will be just as powerful here as in the original. Somewhere over the rain. Wait, that, sounds nice. that you know song's from Wood? Excessive violence. Yeah, no I joke. didn't know All that. Throughout the entire song, Tom and nice. Jerry bicker, fight, and trip over themselves. Because the song really had no emotional weight without it. Yeah, because we needed this. Have a bone? Oh, there it's you like go. the ultimate cut of Meet Me in St. Louis, where they drop a piano on her head. Clang, clang, the what? Went the trolley. Even if the violence was taken out, I don't like the way this horse is looking at me. <laughs> that to horse is high as a guy. Yeah, Dorothy. That I'll horse is on some tranquilizers. Show you what way up high really means. But the mean-spirited... I don't think they give her a name in this version. Comes to take total. Wait, she doesn't get a name at all. I love that this is actually so rushed that not only does she put up little to no fight keeping him, but she accidentally calls the lady a him, and nobody ever fixed it. Uncle what? Don't let him take Toto. Well, you have to don't admit, let him. She's rather mannish. How is it Toto is seen as the most awesome dangerous powers. canine on the farm when there's a bulldog named Butch that lives there too? Also, that ate a whole cat. You couldn't have Droopy as Toto. Pip, pip to you, too. Tom and Jerry help rescue Toto in this version with oh. actually some pretty inventive slapstick. And you know where they go from. <laughs> inventive Dorothy slapstick. Running away and comes across Fair. a fortune teller who tells her to go back home, who will eventually end up being the wizard in her dream, or they cut all that. NEM! Wait, it was a dream? I guess her subconscious made up this guy. Three times. NEM! Uncle Henry! She'll probably get inside. Why? Horses. Actually, why are you here? Can you tell me what's up with this guy? I'll melt your trouble. Wait, is that a horse actually in there? So was that a horse Tom actually like and Jerry a real horse in there? Get knocked out and somehow share the exact same dream. So either this is going on or this is Tom going Sutton. on. I've I'll never seen it. You, my pretty, and your little soul too. <laughs> Is that? That's Freddy Krueger, right? The colorful land pretty sure. Was, as it turns out, the munchkins pretty are sure. pretty hardcore. Oh, oh. Bats. Think about that. The munchkins carry bats. What? <laughs> There's more where that came from. That, that, that is, is so much bigger. Guild gonna have to cut a bitch? You must know Dorothy. <laughs> this munchkin, of course, is Tuffy, yeah. who explains what happened to Dorothy. And you know, Wait, if you never wasn't there saw Tuffy the Wizard of Oz before and this the Willy Wonka one, to it, how would you react to this? The house you and Dorothy came in landed on the Wicked Witch of the East, and then Glenda, the Good Witch of the North, gave Dorothy the Ruby Slippers. But the Wicked Witch of the West showed up to take the magical Ruby Slippers. Yeah. Glenda sent Dorothy, uh, okay. the great and powerful Wizard of Oz, in the Emerald City. You are insane. This is all insane, and I am never doing edibles again. Here's a fun game. See yeah. if you can spot any innuendo when tough <laughs> Edibles make you feel like you're going to die. <laughs> Well, you're only a munchkin. Oh god, that makes it worse. Oh, it's that does, that does in fact make it worse. So he sings about his 
<clears throat> size problems, Shortness. as Tom and Jerry agree to let him tag along to see the wizard to get some height. Oh, and they just know the dance the together. And, yeah, and that's the yellow brick road. Just knowing that all the other munchkins are in their home sleeping. Isn't there like a Wizard of Oz like theme park or something somewhere? Just call it a day with no more celebrating. It's like abandoned or something like, maybe. Oh, oh, what's all the commotion? Oh, other visitors from the sky. Okay, we did like five song numbers for that redneck girl. We are not doing this shit again. We'll just give it to that Easter so egg just mouse to chasing perform down with Dorothy. no backup. I'm busy trying to figure out why our flowers are looking so flat. Maybe it's that new fertilizer Maybe. we've been using. Very paper Mario fertilizer. He has a point. He might be onto something there. God, the, I'm so thrown off by the horse thing. Like, what was that? Like an actual horse? Like real footage of a real life well, horse? It's a little funny that even miles later, Tuffy is still singing that song, and they try to shut him Ye up. But I kind of oh, tug the my cow. collar when I see Black Crows in an animated adaptation of an early 40s film. Oh wait, I forgot. It's Tom and Jerry. They've had years of experience with this kind of stuff. What are you nuts? No Ooh. one goes that way. <laughs> what do you mean? Lots of people go both ways. Okay, the internet Is already that has racist? this split to play with. I don't think we need any more innuendos. The crows oh. give them oh. the wrong directions oh. and they stumble across a much more dangerous path. Tell me if you think Tuffy's Honestly. persistence to keep going is sounding less optimistic and a little more cultish. Follow the yellow brick road? I swear I was at a cult this past weekend. It was a moose lodge. Like, it's... <sighs> Never stray from nothing but old white men. That's right. And like, stop the same prayer to a picture. Now, as am I. They come across the wicked That's witch, a reference though, something. I don't know. A lot of cut scenes easing on down the road. The witch tries to figure out how to stop them. Of course, we know she's going to use the flowers to put them to sleep. I'll turn this pretty dandelions into an avalanche. Or smash what? them into oblivion. That's okay, a little bit more it's violent. It's more of a Tom and Jerry way of doing things. It actually makes me wish there's a little bit more Wizard of Oz logic to this cartoony logic. I because you know the witch wouldn't be able to survive this. This isn't over. Look, it's raining her body parts. Turn her into oh, confetti. Oh, Tom, Jerry. I hoped I would never see you again. And here I you are in my dream. Will give me some brains. I want a heart. And I need some courage. And all Toto and I want is to get back home to Kansas. We're cliff noting what was already a heavily cliff noted story. Yeah. Then I'm sure to get a brain. A Just heart. Cliff. A home. Some height. Some oh, height. I guess my noise doesn't mean dick anymore. Eat shit and die, you gray tone fightful knockoff. Anyway, if they want to be more honest, the lyric should be this. If I only had a script. My balls. Merch rides. A voice. They their way to the Emerald City. Look, there's the penis That's and the Little Mermaid poster. And like the original, <laughs> they come across a horse-drawn carriage. Will you take us to see the wizard? Inside. I can't. Well, yes. An emotionally scatterbrained driver. Do you trim your beard? Um, trim my beard? Yes. I'm going to cut your head off and bury you. But yes. I've I do. Seen a yeah, like, like that before. That's oh, a purple horse. Will again, I fancy. I'm gonna kill it. It shines purple when it's depressed, so I'm just gonna drop it off at the swamp of sadness. <laughs> oh, okay. Everybody's just wearing green. Nobody else is moving. From drinking the green Kool Aid. We'll see the wizard too once we give him our souls. Yeah, that's accurate. They're like porcelain dolls. Oh, could you put a little more hay in the crotch area for me? It gets a little cold in Oz, if you know what I'm saying. Isn't he all made of hay? So is one um, of the chicks from the farm having this dream too? How does any of this maybe. work? I, I, I... As before, the witch appears to threaten them, only this time she holds the broom in a very, um, clips um, to Oh my god. And there's a knob on the... At least she's forgotten about you two. And Tom and Jerry. Just had their mind okay, Tom and Jerry's in this. Funny. As before they visit the wizard, and oh, there's I the was wizard. gonna make a Skeletor melting into a Mars Attacks Martian joke, but yeah. now I look at the top of that head, it's looking a little, um, a tiny... Phallic? Uh, oh, how does one say? How shall one say, director? Oh. Uh, too clitorish, your majesty? Exactly, very well put. As in the original, okay. they have to yeah, get the wizard's that also, room before yeah. the wizard will grant any of their wishes. And as before, the scarecrow is still packing heat! Which Why does he have a gun? One mile. I love of all the things they kept out of this version, they chose that to leave in. 
they kept the scarecrow with a gun. I didn't know the Don't scarecrow worry, had a gun. I'll, shoot I'll kill him with more holes than a shovel on script. <laughs> What's happened Damn to nice you? Shaman. They took my legs off and then threw them over there. Then they took my chest out and threw it over there. Then they took my penis and said they were saving it for a lonely night. Oh, I cherry break you think the wind into an Oz a gator. Or is it an Oz a dial? <laughs> I have to look at the nose. Then they run into a wall. <sighs> is it an Oz a dial? Should I roll the credits? Uh, are they dead? Is that it? Oh, oh, okay. Welcome back. <laughs> they <laughs> went and met God. Slippers like in the original, but they up the zapping powers of her slippers just a tiny bit. Oh, just a little bit. She got an <laughs> x-ray machine. Wait, 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 this all is, I will give credit. It feels less like a Tom and Jerry cartoon stuck in the Wizard of Oz and more like the Wizard of Oz Wizard stuck of Oz in a stuck Tom and Jerry cartoon. Which is how it should but be, honestly, because of how Tom and Jerry is so kind of... Every now and then. Do you see that? Like, it's how long notable kind. I'll come back for you just as soon as those sands run out. We'll still keep it vague. How wow. it's going to kill you? Curse? But seeing how it's time yeah. to Jerry, I guess we'll just say death by bowling ball. I don't know. We get a pretty funny cameo from Butch and Droopy as the guards. He still should have been Toto. You could have called him Droop Droop. That's Tom and Jerry over here that water can kill the witch. So they go to an water unguarded, kill the witch? unlocked well on her property. That's Why would you keep that? Isn't that the like, equivalent of like popsicles being the only thing that can kill you and the only security you have is a sticker on your freezer that says, No eating popsicles, it could kill me, so keep them out of sight. I mean, you know, I know they're here, that's weird, but come on, D -d don't be a dick, come, come on. I hope they sell that sticker. They break in and stop the hourglass. How? I think it just kind of cuts away from it. If she suddenly oh, dies in a few about that? we'll know why. Yeah, <laughs> she combusts. <laughs> What? Don't make me do my Willy Wonka tunnel monologue! Yeah, okay, so yeah, that was that one. Okay, it was the Munchkin. It works for a bit, but the witch catches up with them as Tom and Jerry try to get water. He drinks the water. That's <laughs> a slap. <laughs> shoes. He's one angry bastard. <laughs> That's right, a Munchkin tape? invented scotch tape in this reality. Uh, somehow it still makes more sense than that Franco movie. Bring around the, the what movie? A pocket full of spears. Thought you were spears. Foxy, didn't you? Can I really make fun of a word for almost sounding like another word? The last Maybe. To go, we'll see the first four ah! before her. That was like five different Tim well, this Curry is not like masks the from the movie mask. Legend. And somehow Tim Curry was still what? more feminine. What movie? <laughs> How about a little fire, scarecrow? You know, I never got that part. Isn't that kind of like setting your car on fire? Tom and kind of, but also shouldn't everybody be afraid of fire? Even though it's animated, it's still shot from a distance, so you can't make out the effects that aren't there. Confusing. You know the rest. They get the broom, return to the wizard, and remember that suggestive door from the G.I. Joe movie? It's along no. the same... Yeah. I haven't seen it. And they find out he was a phony the whole time. But he finds a way of giving them the gifts they were looking for, making them realize uh, they bullying. had them all along. Sum of the square roots of any two sides of an isosceles triangle is equal to the square root of the remaining. Yeah, good luck using Still that. Right triangle. If you're gonna be dumb, you might as well be smart. <laughs> Look, he even gave Tuffy some stilts. <laughs> I'm huge. Do I even need to say anything? No. The takes off without Dorothy, but he says he can't bring it back because he doesn't know how it works. Well, how the hell is he gonna? Probably get a good thing not on it. Questions. But Glenda yeah. appears via fucking bubbles. <laughs> to the commercials. Be helped any longer. <laughs> Always had the power to go back to Kansas. Am I the only one that thinks they look like Peter Lorre caricatures in drag? Can Ooh. you send me home, silly fool? You always had the power to go back to Kansas. Rick. She taps her heels three times, ends up back home, and it was all a bad oh. dreams. Yeah, plural, oh. plural mm, bad dreams. You just had a bad dream. And you couldn't forget your old pal Tuffy, could you? For me, the local haberdasher. If it was a dream, how are a mouse and dog still talking? And why is that horse looking at me? Can wish upon the horse. my star. Nay. Nay. Jerry believed Dorothy's story, though, and tried to act out that they went through it, too. And if you did yeah. know the story they were acting out, you'd look at them like someone lobotomized your best friend, too. Yeah. Understandable. Tom and Jerry meet awkward silence. 
I mean, they tried. A for effort. Something happened! <laughs> they fight some oh, more. The end credits roll, and everybody who never heard of the Wizard of Oz thinks they're stoned out of their minds. So there it is. Tom mm -hmm. and Jerry and the Wizard of Oz. An awful Wizard of Oz adaptation, but kind of a funny Tom and Jerry cartoon. Yeah. The special is for Tom and Jerry short, clocking in at under yeah. an hour. It focuses more on trying to under an hour for Tom a Jerry movie adventure, rather than a faithful Wizard of Oz. How like the original Wizard of Oz? And when it does that, it's surprisingly all right. The slapstick has an understanding of making them feel solid, so the pain seems harsher and funnier. Tom's screams sound eerily close to his original screams. Yeah. And the timing, for the most part, is pretty damn good. Where it fails, not surprisingly, is the Wizard of Oz stuff. It's just not a good adaptation because most of what made the story so special is kept in the background. But that's kind of what makes it an amusing Tom and Jerry special. There's not yeah. much focus on the Wizard of Oz. Especially when compared to something like the Willy Wonka crossover. <laughs> so yeah, I guess it's not They didn't even really acknowledge Tom and Jerry in the Willy Wonka one, did they? But it's still got much. a few laughs out of me. Which after this is a ton more than what I was expecting. Oh, yeah. So it's yeah. technically good, but it's not nearly as bad as you would think. Take it for what it's worth and find out if this acid trip over the rainbow is for you. <laughs> acid trip over the rainbow. I want to taste colors. And we can colors. hope there won't be any more random crossovers from what the hell are you doing, Anna Barbera? I'm a nostalgic critic. I remember how many What are those? Has he done this? Are, are those actual things? <laughs> are they actually? <laughs> and now we have the charity shout out. Hey, Doug Walker here. Yeah. Doing the charity shout out. Helen Keller International is this week's charity. Helen okay. Keller International saves and improves the sight and lives of the world's vulnerable by combating the causes and consequences of blindness, poor health, and malnutrition. They envision a world where no one okay, suffers so from just preventable well -being, or treatable you know? blindness or low vision. No one suffers from malnutrition. Yeah, my vision is absolutely horrendous without contacts. Loss of their like, productive years due to disability my, and my contacts are, both of them, are minus 6.5 each. And private sector systems, contacts. Promoting the development it's of real bad. large-scale programs that deliver effective solutions to preventable blindness and malnutrition. If you look at their website, what you can, can not cause only see all blindness? the places they travel to, but also all the good Could it be like they things they places, eat or drink, sure they or good, the areas they live in in pollution, maybe? Click on the link and see what you can do to help so many. Is that a sweet potato? I've never had a sweet potato. Kids in Africa have had a sweet potato, and I have not. <laughs> I've had sweet potato fries, if that counts. This came out in 2019. But yeah, so, yeah, Rob Walker literally said that I need to react to this one, and that is what I'm doing. I probably have shown the clip, or maybe I'll show it here at the end. I'll, if I'm going to do it, I'll probably do it right now. Honest reviewer, thank you for the 140 bits. Last bits for the day, I've been watching a creator, a reactor, called The Duck Goes Moo, who's been watching some of your stuff. Any of your reviews you'd recommend to him? Note he's already did Last Air Airbender, Dragon Ball, Son of the Mask, Food Fight, and all your commercial specials. What makes his react so hilarious is that he hasn't seen a, a lot of movies, so he's legit in shock of what you showcase. <laughs> I was like um, the wizard in the Tom and Jerry one, if they're old ones. <laughs> um, yeah, and I love that name, just the duck goes smooth. That's pretty funny. <laughs> Okay, and we're back. You just saw that clip. I'm going to have to like do a little bit of editing magic there and get that little clip in. Uh, but yeah, that's really cool. Shout out to the Honest Reviewer for making that happen. And shout out to like Doug just really liking the name the deck goes to. If they comment on my video or just acknowledge me in any way, that would be absolutely insane. I remember Taylor, who's one of my Twitch mods. He's been a long time Twitch mod for forever. He shows to every stream and everything. And I'm going to be live stream today with Minecraft Monday at 5 p.m. Eastern time. Definitely uh, show up for that. That'd be awesome. Um, but yeah, he literally apparently met Nostalgia Critic at a convention this past uh, weekend, which was really, really cool. So he thought about doing like a shout out thing for hitting 50,000 subscribers or something, but he didn't want to like, you know, I guess bother him or whatnot. But that's really cool. I would love to meet the Nostalgia Critic. That would just be awesome. Just him saying my name was just so cool. Because, like, I've been reacting to Snowdra Critic for almost an entire year now. This is the, I think, 45th Nostalgia Critic video I've done. So, yeah, we're almost at an entire year straight of Nostalgia Critic videos. And they are fantastic. They're going to stick around for a while. So, I hope you are, too. I hope you're subscribed. You can come Patreon. Get the videos day early. And let me to have a paywall on the channel. And support the channel. And help rebuild the channel. And everything. Thank you so much. I'm so thankful. Love you all. Take care. And until the next video, Kitty Music. What?
play.